Welcome to Spice Basket, the most innovative tourism project ever attempted in the Spice Isle. We call it the home of our culture, and housed in this complex of Grenadian innovation is High Five, the only cricket museum of its kind in the region. Join me as we take a compelling look into West Indies cricket, its history and development that has brought pride and joy to the people of the Caribbean and pleasure to the rest of the world. On entering High Five, you would be astounded by the amount of memorabilia that is on display, such as the blue caps of Frank Worrell wore in his last test as captain, and the bats that Everton Weeks used when scoring five consecutive centuries cannot be seen anywhere else. Can you recall how he achieved that feat? You may not know, but I know a man who knows all about Windy's cricket and its history. It's hard to believe, given the weather in England, that they could invent cricket, but they did, and they brought it down here in the mid-1800s. In fact, the earliest West Indian cricket club in record is Kingston Cricket Club, 1853. At High Five, you will begin to understand the complexities of West Indies cricket. The early regional cricket was just based around the south of the region, Barbados, Trinidad, and what was then British Guyana. So as regional cricket developed in the late 1800s, the West Indies embarked on their first overseas tour. You might be surprised to learn that that was to the USA and Canada in 1886. And the following year, 1887, the USA toured the Caribbean. At High Five, we'll take you through the rich and spectacular history of West Indies cricket. From the pre-test match days and the first overseas tour to the USA and Canada in 1886 to the modern day. One of the many fundamental turning points in world cricket was Kerry Packer's intervention in 1977. And the West Indies were certainly at the forefront of that not only providing a West Indies team, but also several members of the world team. We have every avenue of West Indies cricket history covered here at High Five. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to tell you who those five consecutive hundreds were against, but I will tell you in the six innings, he made 96 and was run out, and he will tell you to this day that he was not out. With the great legacy of Windy's cricket, High Five can be called the custodian of our finest achievements in the game. The grace and skill of George Headley, the dexterity and guile of Sobers, and the craft and power of Sir Bib are all chronicled in this treasure trove of our cricket development. I'm Junior Murray, the first Grenadian to play Test cricket. As a wicketkeeper batsman, this is the bat I've scored my first Test 100 in New Zealand, 1994. It gives me great pleasure to see such a cricket museum here in Grenada. On your next trip to Grenada, you must come to the West Indies Cricket Heritage Centre. Be sure and pay us a visit at High Five Cricket Museum. It's High Five, our heritage cricket centre, right here at Spice Basket, the home of our culture.